Yo, yo, and yo, I hope you're doing well. Uh, actually, I hope you're doing great. I'm your man Nar, back with another tutorial. Uh, this time, lessons from my mistakes. So if you're running on WordPress and you're using Contact Form 7 plugin, then most probably this video is for you. So listen carefully. Uh, back on my first website, I used Contact Form 7 for an entire year without knowing that I hadn't set it up correctly. I was receiving spam-like emails with no content at all and I was wondering what the heck is wrong with my website until I discovered and learned that I didn't set up my email notifications and autoresponders correctly or rather at all. So right now, uh, I mean in about 30 seconds, I will show you step by step how to correctly set up your contact form 7 email notifications and autoresponders. So like the video and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. If you create or run a website and want to improve it, then my channel and website is for you. Head over to my website, yourmanar.com and you will find tons of informative content, tips and tricks, ready-made websites with complex functionalities for sale and most importantly, discounts for the best tools to improve your website's performance. Enjoy this video, I hope it will be valuable for you. As always, I'm your man, Nar. All right, now let's get started. As always, this is the written form of the same tutorial. I will add the link in the description of this video. It will be the first link over there. So in case you don't like watching videos, you can go over there and read the article. Uh, I have everything in screenshots and uh, so you can just uh, see it. All right, uh, so. Uh, right now, I will show you how to set up Contact Form 7 email notifications and autoresponders. So this is my demo website. It's windowshopping.website. Uh, and this is the landing page that the form is on. Uh, actually, we created this landing page live on a, in a tutorial where we wanted to create coming soon pages. Uh, so we're going to configure this form. All right. Uh, so this is the contact form, early birds campaign, and you can see in here, I have the following fields. So it's your name, your email. Uh, I will add another field. So uh, text area, this is just for the sake of the example. So the name is your message. This is really important. The name part is really important. So make sure uh, you add it. So insert tag, uh, and then we go placeholder, so this is the message that you want uh, to be visible in the uh, form itself. So you message, save. Okay. Now, if we go to this landing page, if we go and view the landing page, right? Let's edit the Elementor mode, exit Elementor mode. Uh, now, if you come in here and we add Noreg, that's my full name, by the way. Uh, yo at humanar.com and my message uh, xyz and submit okay thank you for your message it has been sent but nothing has actually been sent because i have no configurations yet so to to, to make the configurations all you have to do this is actually really simple all you have to do is to go to the mail section over here you can see and in the two I will add where we want this information to go. So I want it to go to my email. So whenever someone submits a form, I want me to receive the email. Uh, I want my email to send the email actually, like uh, I want the form to be my email and the subject line, new subscriber to the early birds campaign. Okay. Uh, this additional headers is used for the reply to CCC, uh, CC and BCC options. So in case you want to add someone CC in the email, you can do it from here. Uh, and now in the message body, we will just add the message that you want. Hey, I'm just trying to, I will motivate myself. Hey, congratulations. I, uh, we have a new subscriber for the early birds campaign okay now this is the tricky part 
Uh, we want to add all this information. So these are the variables, your name, your email, your message. So these are the names you can see over here. It's your name, your email, your message. This is what we added. And this is what the user actually is gonna fill out. So if you don't fill anything out over here, the message that you will receive will look something like this. So it's from your, your subject because nothing has been entered and your message body because nothing has been entered in here. So once we enter the information in here, so the subscribers, subscribers name. So we want to change va changeable variable your name, and then subscribers email your email, and then subscribers message your message. Right. Let me just stress this out one more time. Uh, so uh, these are the variables, your name, your email, your message. Uh, it, it's written your, but like it, this is for the user, so the one who's going to fill out the form. So in the form, uh, it's your name. So whenever the user comes in here, uh, he will see your name, which is the uh, placeholder. But the back of the code, like the, identifi the identifier of this field is your dash name. So it's uh, this, this, this is the identifier, right? Your dash name. So if the user writes in here Norik, then this uh, changeable variable will turn to Norik. So if they add Jack, if they add John, if they add whatever, it will be Jack, John, whatever. Okay, so that's the thing. The same things go for your go, uh, goes for your email and your message. So this is uh, the tricky part. It is really simple. Once you understand what's going on, it is really simple. I'm just repeating it over and over again to make things clearer. Okay, uh, so this is basically it. So we just save it. Okay, this is not on the same URL, which might lead to uh, the email ending up uh, in the spam and stuff like that. Uh, let's give it a try and see how it goes. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I will change the email or the domain, but it should work out. Uh, it will only go to the spam folder. So your name, I will in, add in here, whatever, 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 not like whatever. Okay. My email address, I want it to be uh, ba, 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 support at humanor.com. And my message, this is the message that I want the world to hear. Okay. Uh, by the way, for <laughs> even if it's for test purposes, I never add in X, Y, Z and stuff like that. I always enjoy like adding some extra fun to the process. So submit. Now we should receive an email. I will check my email right now uh, just to make sure that everything's good. And I will bring it in here. So, okay. So in the promotion tabs, uh, I have the following email. I don't want to show you my inbox, but uh, I'm going to just open the email and bring it in here. Okay, so this is my email. Over here, you can see that uh, WordPress from a uh, new subscriber to the early birds campaign. So this was uh, this, right? The subject, new subscriber to the early birds campaign. And then we have Hey, congratulations. We have a new subscriber for the early birds campaign, which is this content obviously over here. And then a subscriber's name, Narek, whatever. So you can see that this, this is the input that we uh, entered in the form, right? In here. Uh, so it changed the value. So you can see that it changed this to the actual input uh, value that the user entered. Support at newmannar.com, subscriber's message, uh, this is the message that I want the world to hear. So guys, this is, uh, it is this easy. I promise you there's nothing to fear. There's nothing compli complicated. Uh, so this is how you set up an email notifications. 
okay? So this way, whenever someone submits a form on your website, you will receive an email with the actual message body that you entered, okay? With the variables, obviously. You can see the list of variables over here. Whenever you don't use any of the var variables that you uh, have uh, in here, you will see uh, it in bold. Uh, I can give it a try. So let's say we delete the your email and save this uh, form. You will see that the your email will turn into uh, I'm sorry, we should have done it to the your name because your email is written in here. It will not understand. You see, bots are smart, but they're not that smart. You can see that your name turned into bold. Okay, so this says that be careful, you haven't used this information. And so you will not be able to get this information if you don't uh, enter it somewhere. So you need to know uh who's sending the email right you need to know who's submitting the form i'm sorry you need to get their emails you need to get their uh, information so that's the thing now say so this is done for email notification for you to see who submitted the form and what values they entered in the form fields okay now check this out If you want to have an autoresponder, so let's say uh, an email that says, uh, hey, thank you for you for submitting the form. Uh, one of our specialists will get back to you or we're glad you entered the early birds campaign. We will go live on uh, X date with uh, Y uh, information or whatever it is. So for to do that, all you have to do is go to that form. So it's the early birds campaign, the same form that we entered the email notifications and go scroll down the page and find the mail to and check this one. So you can see that it already says mail to is an additional mail template often used as an auto responder. Okay, so uh, this is basically the same exact thing of uh, that this one is, but instead in the two to add your email, you will be adding the user's email. So you can see the your email in here is the user's email. It's the same email that was input in here. Uh, and it's the same email that the user added, so it's support at your manner. So this email will go to whatever email the user entered, okay? From, I want it from, uh, again, myself. Again, this is not my domain. It's not the same domain, uh, but this is my business email. So uh, I'm adding this one. This is not a bit best practice, never do it. Uh, congratulations. Oh, for sale. You successfully signed up for the early birds. Uh, you're an early bird. Let's change it. You're an early bird with a 10% discount. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is again the CC and BCC options. And of course, whenever they want to click on reply to, which email do you want this email to go to? We want them, if in case they said reply, I want them to receive, I want the mail to be sent to my email. Okay, and now this is the message body. So we had two things different from the email notifications and this is basic uh, logic. And uh, so it, just if you think about it, you will get the answers. So in here, the two was us. Over here, the two is the customer. For us, we want to get their input values, right? For them, we want to tell them, hey, thanks. Uh, hey, your name. Right, so this is their name, not mine. Hey, name, congratulations. You now officially an early bird who owns a 10% discount, a 10% lifetime discount. Uh, to shop on our website. Our project will go live in uh, on, let's say, December 31. Uh, stay tuned 
and make sure uh, stay tuned okay that's it rewards team okay so this is it this is the message that we want them to receive okay so in here we entered what we want to receive we want to receive the input values that they entered so we know their names their emails and what they want to tell to us and in here we're sending it to them okay so this is their email as i showed you uh a few minutes ago and this is their name because they're going to be adding uh Narek whatever or john or uh, smith or so whatever uh, and this is the text body that they're going to receive. So all I'm going to do is save this. Okay. And now we're good to go. Once we receive this one. Uh, so luckily for us, I have both uh, Yo at your man NAR and uh, support at your man NAR uh, forwarding to my other email. So both, both the emails will, will be received by me because I'm the one obviously doing tutorial. However, let's make the name uh, something creative. So let's say John Wick. Is this how it's written? John Wick. Okay, my email, I want it to be yo support the same email at humannar.com and the message hey i want a 10 percent lifetime discount please give it to me i'm a huge fan submit now again i will do this uh in another window just until i receive the email and i will show it to you okay Okay, so you can see that because we have the same uh, subject, subject. Uh, so this is the email that I received uh, on yo at you mennar. So this is this email is the email notification. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. So it's the email uh, notification that hey John Wick with this email uh, signed up with this message. I'm a huge fan. Hey, blah, 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 blah. And now you can see that on support at uh, let me just go here, open that email. Uh, I'm sorry guys, nothing secret, but this is business. And you can see in here that we added congratulations. You're an early bird with a 10% discount. Congratulations. You're an early bird with a 10% discount. This email was sent to your mail which was user's email that they input in the field. I hope this makes sense that I'm not over complicating stuff. Hey, John Wick, you can see that, hey, your name, and their name was John Wick. Congratulations, you know, blah, 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 blah. Guys, this is really simple. The only thing that you need to understand is that uh, the user inputs their value and that value is changeable because different users will have different values. Uh, not everyone will be John Wick, uh, some might be Captain America, but hey, uh, you have to capture them all. You have to capture all their names, their emails, and what they want to tell you. Uh, so this is how you do it. You just set up two emails over here, two notifications, one for yourself. So it's this should be your email from your email. Uh, and the other one should go to the client from your email uh, with customization, their name and everything. And this is it, guys. It is this simple uh, to set up uh, email notifications and autoresponders on contact form seven. So uh, if you found this valuable, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. That really helps.